Hermes read a Dharma talk, the one saying that right effort requires that you plan for the future, and planning for the future means you have a sense of self, and therefore you shouldn't plan for the future, therefore you shouldn't put in effort. I suppose there's a logic to it, but it just doesn't work. And the flaw there is that the idea that having a, a sense of self is always bad. It's not. There's a skillful sense of self and an unskillful one. The skillful sense of self wants to take whatever powers you have, whatever abilities you have, and devote it to a happiness that you will be happy to stay with, that you'll be able to stay with. That requires planning. That requires learning how to motivate yourself to put in the effort. The Buddha gives lots of ways. You can think of how, in fact, when the mind is trained, it's a compassionate act. You're showing compassion to yourself, you're compassion to others. Because whatever greed, aversion, and delusion you have in there, as you get it rooted out, it means that not only do you suffer less from these things, but the people around you suffer less as well. You can think of a sense of heedfulness, that you really do want to avoid dangers, and of any dangers that you can avoid through your own actions, okay, you want to be able to avoid them. There are some things that are unavoidable out there. Aging, illness, and death are unavoidable. But unskillful actions are avoidable. So you want to plan how to develop the qualities of mind that you need to, to avoid those dangers. You can have a sense of pride. Here you are, a human being. You've got this opportunity. You might as you should take the best use of it. That that pride goes together with a sense of shame. I've seen another example of someone for whom a, a lack of shame means a lack of ego, but that's a very unskillful way of doing it. You need to have the sense of shame. That if I've learned all these things already and I throw them away, that's something to be ashamed of. So try to see what what motivation works for you as you go through the day. Is the Practice get, begins to get a little slack, or you'd find that you have to put in more effort than you had planned. How do you motivate yourself? Well, try to think of the ways in which this is a good thing that you're doing. And you are planning for the future, and there's a sense of self that goes around it, the sense of self that's the producer, and the sense of self that's going to be the consumer. And learn to feed a little bit to that sense of self right now that needs to consume in order to keep you going. As for any senses of self that pull in the other direction, you let those go. Keep on stripping them away, stripping away to finally get to the point where you don't even need the skillful sense of self anymore because you found what you want. Then you can put all these selves aside. But in the meantime, learn how to use the ones that really are helpful because they really do make a difference. <laughs>